Hello guys. In Vietnam. In Vietnam. I've not filmed anything today. We have arrived in Vietnam with our friends there and stuff. And as you can see, the reason I've probably not been filming is because I'll probably die in the roads if I don't pay attention. The slightest lapse of concentration and you just get run over. It's a really nice city. Gone out for lunch. I didn't finish what I was saying, but we've got to Vietnam. We've met Dale and Tash, our friends who are out here. And we just had a little chill day walking out around. Um, first minute we got here, it was a bit scary, like... Um, people everywhere, people scamming us. I'll tell you a bit more about the story another time, but... Yeah, there's people everywhere. And then we went to the hostel, which is a really nice hostel with, like... <laughs> Nice room, nice bathroom, drink. We met Dale and Tash, had a walk around all day, went to a nice place to eat. And then tonight it was free beer, six till seven at the hostel, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> and then now we've come back out and there's loads of like bands playing. Like, it's good fun, so we're having fun so far in Vietnam. Good morning, everybody. First morning. In Vietnam, waking up in Hanoi. Oh my god. Yeah, first one in April. We've booked our bus and heading off to Sapa tomorrow for Dale's birthday. So he's going to love you. Another morning in Vietnam. Another crazy road walking down the street. <laughs> More just absolute mentalness. Like, even now on this video, you'll see me dodge about 20 different. No crazy place. We're getting an overnight bus tomorrow morning to get to Sapa. So at half one in the afternoon, we'll spend five hours on a bus to get to Sapa, but it's only 10 quid, so we're already found out how much cheaper it is in Australia. We are. So good. At Ho Chi Minh's temple. But another beautiful day in Vietnam. So hot here compared to Australia now. Another day in Vietnam. Today we have come down to a waterfall in Vietnam. Uh, we morning we've woken up. It's our last day in Sapa because we arrived on a sleeping bus to Sapa, where so basically it's like an all-day bus which has like beds and they're so comfortable when you sleep on it. And then that took us all the way to Sapa. And then today's our last day here, which is like the rice fields on a trek, which was one day uh, looking at all the rice fields, ethnic minority, which is like the native around here. And then now we're at some waterfalls, which we rented to mopeds this morning. Gone here for about half an hour with Alice on the back. And then this is the waterfall. Looks amazing. Going to Halong Bay tonight on another sleeper bus, sleeping over and waking up tomorrow. In Harlem Bay, so. It looks like there's a whole new building. Got this really brand new Viclero right through the building. Just documenting this place. So if I ever come back when I'm older, this is what it looked like as it was getting built. Still looks pretty built. But <laughs> and then when I'm older, I wonder if all this will be massive flower garden thing. The new Viclero. Viclero. 
Yeah. Probably won't last long with people doing that. <laughs> <laughs> We've walked to the top of an Ickler Railway and it's up really somewhere called there. Sun World. It just looks like somewhere that's just all being built on top of the mountain. So they've built that massive sun plaza thing in Sapper and then built a new railway to the top of the mountain. It's like this brand new like resort called Sun World. Cool. cool and now there's a man dinging a dong in the temple. So crazy to see what this will be like in a few years down. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Another day in Vietnam. Today we are in Halong Bay. Bay. Last night got the overnight sleeping bus like I told you. And then like now told you. <laughs> and then now we woke up here. Originally the uh, sleeping bus was meant to literally take you to the ferry point, get off and get on another one onto the ferry, but it went all the way through. It was literally woke, waking up here, having breakfast, dropping our bags off at the nice hostel, having breakfast, and then now I've gone for a bike ride up to the caves. Seems to be everyone gets mopeds around it. <laughs> yeah, and then we just had a look around the um, Vietnamese caves and the Vietnamese hospital from back in the war. Uh, when the war between America and Vietnam, there was a hospital which they hid up through in a cave, so we had a look at that today. Now we're going down, back to the main town. Earlier on when we were driving by, we drove past this place. And look at that. I didn't, didn't realise it had a top rooftop <laughs> bar, but on the top it has a bar looking over the water. Beer Satani. Pad Thai, one of my favourite foods. And, uh, some cool spring roll thing, but we might come back tomorrow for that. It's literally amazing. That is literally the postcard of this place. probably didn't hear earlier because that was miles away but we're on a boat tour this morning in a Catbar Island leaving from there at about half seven. Now we are spending a day on a boat and we're getting an hour and a half to Calipari and we looked around the cave a second ago and there was a shitload of bats in the cave. It's very scary, a bit like the Batman scene at the start. Batman returns when he turns into Batman. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Treacherous climbing everywhere you go in this country. You are? A little um, nature walk here always turns up at the end to have like a proper rock climb. It's pretty cool actually. Okay. Almost there, Alice. Almost there. It's getting hotter up here though. Looking forward to get the breeze again. Beautiful. Two degrees probably, isn't it? How are you feeling? Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Nice new hat. It's a lovely photo actually. And we've made it to the top. There's Tash sitting on the uh, sitting over there getting a that's the behind the scenes of an Instagram. Cute. Check out her Instagram if you want to see this. Check out the finishing results. Oh my god, and I just, just fell off. You have been framed to the crib, please. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. It's nice to get the breeze. Nice to get so hot. Made it. We're at the top. We've 
two bars. Fantastic smile. You probably can't hear because of the windiness, but we've made it to the top, and that is another behind the scenes photo. <laughs> <laughs> had scooters oh, this sweet. morning, came down to the national park and it's meant to be an hour walk here, hour work back. Probably was about that in the end actually. Now later we're going to the beach for a little beach afternoon to have some relaxing. So oh, I'll show sweet. you the beach later. <laughs> so funny what's in them too in the background. <laughs> we had a lovely lunch, had a burger. Did we have a lovely lunch? We had a burger, however, we ordered the beef burger, but they brought us the bloody classic burger. Do you know what that means? Eggs. This in the bun. And you know what I don't like? It's EGG egg. It's not even a good egg. It's a bad egg. <laughs> it's a bad egg. But the key problem is, will they charge us for it? Stay tuned. Stay tuned, baby. Just turned up to um uh we got a about four and a half hour bus to Nimbin from um, Harlan Bay, Cat Bar, where it, the bus gets onto the ferry and then takes us here. Uh, we got to Nimbin City, which then got a taxi to Taycock, something like that. Um, and we stayed at this really nice hostel on the river. But then when we got there, we've got no more space in the dorm, because we were going to share an 18 bed dorm. And then they said, oh, you can have this two person private room. So now we've got like a, and Alice has made a mess away from the bed, but. We've got like a little private room with a big bed, mosquito net around it, aircon, a bathroom which is really big. And then that view's out there, so beautiful. We got very lucky and very happy. Oh, two o'clock now, half two. So we've got the rest of the day ahead of us, so we're going to get scooters. And then just explore a bit, have a look at some temples and on the river, so. All these like buildings are like really modern. Just at the top of um, where are we? Right in. <laughs> We're in um, where are we? I've <laughs> got <laughs> Nimbin. <laughs> We're in Nimbin. <laughs> um, and we just skated down here this morning. But the whole thing is um, walled all around. So, like, you see that? That's part of the wall. We drove around this whole thing. <laughs> Like for one whole leaf, and then we just found the entrance. It's now basically midday. But now it's midday, but it is so lovely up there. It all looks like new buildings though, but apparently they're ancient relics, so they must keep them up to date. But look at that view. Bella. Spent a lot of money on religious artifacts here, I think. We're planning on staying one more night where we were. In a bus to Fong Nam tomorrow. We've got another day tomorrow. Yeah, and then we've got a night bus to Fong Oh, a night bus to Fong which where we sleep on it. So beautiful. The weather's a bit grey today, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. But it's a nice temperature, so look at all the beautiful greenery. Look how high we are. Having a boat tour, just, just me and Alice are having a private boat tour around. Like a famous uh, river, just me and I, no one else. I love how you never remember what the place is called. <laughs> you said famous river then because you didn't know. Yeah, we're on the famous river where a man <laughs> rows us, or whatever it's called, for nine caves and nine rivers. No, nine came. Oh, hang on. Nine temples and nine caves. I don't think it's nine temples. I'm sure it is. Dan, sure. anyone who reads this blog says, well, you know, what's he on about? All right, you, you describe us. <laughs> on a river in Nimbin. We're in Chang'an. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Chang'an. Well, I don't know where I am, but anyway, we're on a lovely lake, river, <laughs> on a boat, getting rowed along it and going through caves. That's really cool. I'll show you the uh, <laughs> cave. Tranquility. Chang'an tranquility. Smooth waters, smooth sailing. <laughs> Around here somewhere, the King Kong film was done where they flew the plane between the rocks, but it's not here, but there's a set somewhere. Actually, Harlem Bay is the one that had the plane flight. I think this is just the studio. This is Skull Island. Hello. Hello. Another day in um, Vietnam. Nimbin. So what we're doing today is we're waiting for the bus tonight at 8 o'clock. 
to take us to Fong Ram. We love it here. Like it here, we're getting settled in with the nice hostel on the river. Um, but yeah, we're just coming to this little area, um, which is a hundred to get in, which is about three pounds. So it's quite expensive, but seems pretty so far. Actually, are you? Hey. I think it's lunch time soon. Swing on our way. Swinging on a swing. I think um, taken some inspiration from Bali here. They have yeah. lots of swings everywhere. We don't need to go to Bali. Yeah. Actually, that's, we should probably give you a little travel update. We're going to cut in Vietnam a little bit shorter. We're going from here to eventually Hoi An. And then maybe, just maybe, we think we're going to fly into Bali. We could have a look from Danang to Bali. Yeah. I know the start of our thing, we didn't want to do it because of the earthquake, but... Maybe Alice will get what she always wanted. <laughs> but, and then after that, Dan, Dan wanted it as well. But then after, at the end, end, we want to go to maybe so, Tokyo. <laughs> we have big ABs. Yeah, lots of them. <laughs> Take it every day as it comes. Because we don't ever know what we want to do next. What's around the corner? Every time, we, because of a little scare at the start, which kind of made us feel like, is it? Yeah, for us. Yeah, like, it's a bit scary travelling there. Oh, yeah. do we want to do the Philippines? We're still deciding every day like, if we like the place or not and if we'll stay there. But I guess that's what anyone does when they're travelling. Yeah. Um, you got to see if you like the place and stay if you do. So that's what we're doing. All but right. we do need to book a flight out soon. Yeah, we need to book a flight. Get expensive. Expensive. Just stopped off for some lunch on the peanuts here. I have like a little shell on them. Oh, I didn't do that. that. Oh, we didn't get a picture in front of the side, yeah. So, like, you can just, like, shoot them in your own mouth, like this. <laughs> didn't do it right. Hopefully they don't notice peanuts everywhere. The birds will have a feast tonight. But, yeah, another thing. The other day, I was with Dad. I was like, oh, I wish I bought some of these sleeves for Australia, because all the beers had them. And then, ever since then, every beer I've had has had a sleeve on, so... Bottoms up, I would say. <laughs> what, are you, what are you having for lunch, Alice? Fried needles and vegetables. Oh, have you not had that before? What do you think it'll be on? I don't know, maybe the same as yesterday's. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. It is nice. Out in uh, this apparently is a botanical garden walk. Um, this morning at half four, we arrived on the sleeper bus <laughs> in. Pornian. Fong, Fong Na. Um, and then this morning we got a taxi from the bus stop to the hotel. But that, they organised for free, they organised the taxi transfer for free to the hotel. And when we got to the hotel, we were literally so nasty, it's half four in the morning. And then we were like... Um, and then he sat down and he was like, so, what do you guys want to do today? Yeah, and he sat us down and was like, right, so you could do this tour, this tour, this tour. We were like, um, can we have somewhere to go to sleep? <laughs> But then they were so nice at the hotel because they let us stay in like the roof bit. They had like two double beds. They call it simple beds. And they, they let us... They see like a lovely mattress on the floor with a blanket. Yeah. That was so good. And they let us stay there. So we slept there till that half nine. They then went to a room, had a shower, and we had a really nice banana pancake breakfast, which seems to be a speciality here. Now we're in the uh, botanical garden walk. And then after this, we're going to a cave called Paradise Cave. But yeah, it's such a it's a bit of a rainy day today, but it's a perfect day to do something like this because everything's wet anyway. And they are having a swim. Oh yeah, but last night on the sleeper bus we got a story oh. to tell. It was uh, normally all the sleeper bus been so smooth, so nice, able to sleep. But this sleeper bus was like literally the entire time max revs, 100 million miles an hour, dotting between traffic. Just so being an scary. absolute madman, so camel travel. I would not wreck it. Camel travel. I'm so happy to be off that bus. The whole time I was on the bus, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get off it. Yeah, that was. It was a nice sleep, but crazy drive. I went for boxes, but I don't know how I wanted to do that.
Right. <laughs> Vietnam Adventures. This is called a botanical garden. Can you see me, Alex? This is what we're doing yeah. on the wall. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Come on, Alex. Hello. Hello. Just, um... Renting boat. Yeah, today we've woken up in Phong Na, yesterday after the caves, like you saw, and we're thinking of... We, well, we are having a bit more of a relaxed day today. We woke really up, nice. had a bit of a lion. Pancakes. Um, had pancakes in the morning. It's chilled. It's chilled. Out then by. we booked our. Well, actually, this is the news. <laughs> we booked our flights to Bali. So we're going to Bali on the 20th. Going yeah. to Bali on the 20th till like the 31st. 10 days in Bali. And then we're going to have a bit of like a nice hotel, kind of resorty vibe. <laughs> there and then from there we're gonna go we've booked our flight to Philippines for the rest of the time so that should be nice. Gonna try and like cover as much while we're here just because yeah. yellow. Just to see what Bali looks like. Um, and then after that we just come out for lunch and we just went to like this really cool like cafe called the so Underground. Cool. Fun Nam Underground. Hello Probably not the best time to be doing this but I just don't wanna forget. A bit of a crazy change of plan this morning where we were i think we're, i'm not sure if we've explained it before but this is we've got a problem with our visa that we ordered so we need to get to delan quickly to sort out our visa so we've gone for a private car ride taking us straight to delan tonight rather than staying in Huawei. it's a bit of a shame to miss out on the scooter in, but it's the thing we had to do still the and so right now we are at lacau beach and this is what it looks like So it's like a little beach area open for a quick bit of lunch, nothing too quick. Um, and then we'll be on to the Hyven Pass, which will be nice. Uh, on the Hyven Pass, still. We're stopping basically every few minutes now. If you don't know what the Hyven Pass is, it's that top gear trail that goes up the mountain, but here's what the view looks like. to a pizza restaurant in <laughs> Dunham, literally every time I get it wrong and they've got iPads in it where you can design your own pizza so like you can design half and half you can add whatever toppings you want there's some toppings for free like oregano, chilli, stuff like that so Alice is just designing a pizza now but it literally looks insane so doesn't it? looks good doesn't it? I forgot to uh, film the food <laughs> But it was a delicious. Yeah. Delicious. So, I feel like my tummy's going to be settled. Like, that was like some seriously good pizza, wasn't it? That was so good. We loved it. We miss the Italian food sometimes. Food, banana pancakes. Yeah. Just woken up. We're in Boyana, our final destination, coming up in a few days. Um, I'm not sure if I filmed anything last night, but I'll try to film a bit more today. But we're at somewhere called the Sky's House, beautiful moon hotel. We're having breakfast here now. In Vietnam, they have this thing where their breakfast included is they just give you like a little menu. And they've got like a really big thing on banana pancakes. You can't really see much of it now, but that's like a pancake with bananas put inside and then chocolate on top. It's really, really nice to be fair. We've just been having them every day. Can't and then a nice iced coffee. Which to be fair, they're so much nicer here than in England because an iced coffee in England, they're just so bitter like this. But these just taste so smooth. Today we're going to the beach, but first we're going to a tailor for Alice to get her graduation dress made and I'm thinking about getting some trousers made. Beach day over. It's held by a brown bronze look. We had a full on chilled relax at the beach there. We had our banana pancakes, we've literally slept, read. Hey, how are you on our pizza this morning? This morning, me, I managed to pick some trousers I wanted, give them the ones that I liked, and then they can copy it. Because I've got a pair of trousers that I really like, but the material's horrible and it all bubbles up and looks 
look like shit. I'm gonna remake them out of cashmere. And then Alice has had her full design of her dress that she wants for the um, graduation. And she, we've both got to fit in tomorrow at 2 p.m. I'll try it actually when the film that. But and then we went straight from there to the beach. Just been sunbathing and really doing chilling. Hit it. Um, yeah, we just uh, we went on late in Vietnam. Been using a lot of TripAdvisor to find our restaurants really well so far. So we're in the number one TripAdvisor spot. And we've had, ordered some egg noodles, which is the first in a while. See what they're like. But and then later on, we're meeting Dale and Tash for a beer. Meeting back up with Dale and Tash. We're going out at night market looking for an ice cream. I like a famous ice cream here where they lay it flat and then they freeze and so then when they push up it like curls the ice cream up. Binbibi's doing our fitting. About to do our first fitting so I'll show you what it looks like. Alice has got a white dress for the graduation. I've got some trousers. I'll try to show you a bit of the process of that and then two of the filming. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. A little bit smaller? Yeah. Just there? Yes. A little bit more slim. A little bit smaller here. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. So pretty. And the heel okay. The foot and the arm? Arm okay? I think so, do you? It's so nice, like this top, like the top it, yeah. half of it, isn't yeah. it? The, uh, the, imagine the graduation thing over here, and here, yeah. and the ceiling there. I'm so pleased with it. So pretty. It's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little You want to be a model? <laughs> uh, you look like a model. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey. We're about to go on this parachute loop, just held by this. That's how you go. made some pajamas, I made a pair of trousers, Alice made a graduation dress. We spent four lovely days in Hoi An, probably our, definitely our favourite city. Yeah. Not but necessarily it's favourite scenery, but favourite city because it was just so it's chill. just like chilled, river, lovely lights, yeah. but really nice places to eat, like Mexican last night, India the night before. He's laying on the beach chilling and then in the evening, Going out onto the city. Hello. Just um, come out. We've picked up our passports. It all went well. And now we have arrived at a taco place. Yummy. Um, again, because we had tacos last night, but this one was so cheap, like 35. You can pick whatever you want. Barbecue, ginger lime. I just sort of chicken barbecue. I just did chicken and ginger lime. And Alice has just had a potato ginger lime, it was so uh, it wasn't tasty. Um, so yeah, eating for our flight tomorrow now. Finished our taco! We had two each. I feel like we could smash the 20 record, but just not elevated for it. <laughs> just arrived at the Da Nang beach with a bit of a sketchy walk to it. Here, and Alice was just saying that it reminds her of Barcelona's beach. Because um, it's like wide and open. And actually, to be fair, it is actually quite beautiful. We're currently Wait, chilling so in the lovely cheap, hotel. Yeah. And we've, um, we've ordered a pizza hut to the room because <laughs> we can't be asked to walk out and we're just such a chilled mood. So we ordered online. I put this phone number down, which is my one in Vietnam. And I don't know how this is going to work out, but hopefully it arrives because, dang it, um, 
hungry. <laughs> exactly. But sometimes when you're moving about a lot, you got to unwind. Don't you, Alice? Yeah, it's nice to have your own space. Just be like... Yeah, because we're so used to going to hostels, like having just a bit of space. It's just, for some reason, it's two double beds. Having some <laughs> space is just nice because it's comfy. A nice shower and really nice bed. And. We're going to Bali, don't